Hello everyone, this is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me once again. I want to say before I go any further into this, I want to thank everyone that does watch my channel. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys joining on and subscribing. And that I pray and hope that I get better and better and better. Well, I don't pray and hope. I am going to get better and better and better at my uh, videos and the quality of my videos as time goes on. So thank you all for joining me. What I want to talk about in this video is what you probably already know now, and that is President Joe Biden. I hate to say president, <laughs> but I have to out of respect for the position. President Joe Biden has placed the transgender flag in the middle of two flags in the White House, right in the White House. You probably have seen it. And he has placed the flag there. It's a pro pro transgender flag to sh basically show solidarity and support for you know, uh, gay pride month. But in, in particular, this, this flag here actually represents the transgender progressive transgender flag. I think it's called the progressive flag. And he's placed it in the middle with the, with the United States flag and so forth. And it's like, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. This is, this does not blow me away at all, actually, because I expect this from Joe Biden. Because in in fact, I was reading some months ago actually that uh, well actually let me let me take it back let me rephrase that it wasn't some months ago this was actually when Joe Biden was cam campaigning so this is actually some years ago when he was campaigning to be president he said in the podcast that he's going to be the most liberal uh, president there is he said that. He's going to be the most pro this and pro gay that and pro that there, there, there ever was in the past. And in my opinion, he has shown that because prior to him, uh, former President Obama, not Trump, Trump put up a, a, a monkey wrench in all of that. But prior to him, uh, Obama was a very progressive or was considered to be the most progressive or liberal president we ever had because during i think it was gay pride month during his time he had the rainbow colors lit up in the in the white house since nobody talks about that but he had you know rainbow colors lit up in the white house okay but at any rate this doesn't surprise me um is this is, is it crazy yes but it doesn't surprise me because he's fulfilling his promise to be the most liberal of all the presidents okay now what i want to talk about is According to the article in Bright Bar News, says that the issue with this pro, uh, progressive flag that's supposed to support transgenderism in our country is that gays and lesbians, according to the article, gays and lesbians are becoming upset about this. And the reason why they're becoming upset about this is because they believe that this is pushing their gay rainbow flag out of the way. <laughs> they're kind of basically getting upset. In so many ways, they're getting jealous, according to uh, the article. I read some more. I had read another article that was connected to this article and brought by news. And according to the article, they're basically getting upset and really jealous because now the big deal is now transgenderism. We have to promote transgenderism. And as the article goes on to say, the primary reason that they say Biden is pushing this and pushing this and pushing this pro transgender concept uh, uh, is because as he, because he's supposed to be running again for reelection. He's trying to attract the young audience that supports this, the young uh, people that supports this. He's trying to attract them and keep them on board so that they will be a part of it. You know, it's basically a part of his campaign strategy, if you will. Uh, I think that's part of the reason, but I also think that there's a bigger agenda. I'm not going to get into that here because I've talked about this before. But this is what kills me. The fact that <laughs> gays and lesbians are, are getting ups, upset. This is how they said it. Gays and lesbians are getting upset because this seems to suggest to them that the president is promoting transgenderism and their flag and their progress over the, the rainbow flag. And what's my point? My point is simply this. The left and the radical left in particular is so immoral, so twisted, 
so demonic, so messed up that they, and they do this all the time. They turn on themselves. You ought to be helping to encourage the man. You ought to be encouraging the transgenders because most of them, most transgenders are gay. Okay. Let's be realistic. Stop playing games. Most of them are gay. You ought to be trying to promote and encourage them. But now they're getting jealous because, hey, you're putting their flag over our flag. Now, of course, there's other controversies. There's those who are pro-American flag and so forth. The, G the GOP was making com complaints about it, that Biden is pushing his social, social and political agenda over the flag itself, which, which basically promotes the solidarity of America. The flag represents the solidarity of all Americans in this country that adhere to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence. That's what is that's what it really means to be an American, that you adhere to the principles of freedom of speech, of freedom of religion, of freedom to own a gun, the right to own a gun and free freedom and the freedom to basically be whatever you want to be. The pursuit of happiness, which is in the Declaration of Independence, the pursuit of happiness and the right to pursue whatever you want to be. You have those God given rights. If you believe in that and you embrace those concepts, you are a true American. If you reject those concepts and you in America and I don't care how long you've been in America, you are not an American. I'll say that to you in your face. You're not an American. You're an intruder. You're an imposter. Why are you here? Anyway, that's what it's supposed to be. And needless to say, the GOP and others have made tweets and have made uh, comments on the tweets on Twitter and so forth and have basically opposed that view. They've said it in interviews. So that's the natural response. You're going to get a response from those who oppose that, because basically you're saying that my vision, basically Biden is saying from their perspective, my vision is more important than the solidarity of this country. Hey, this is Pride Month. This is what it's all about. We're going to push this, push this, push this and push this. But like I said, going back to my original analysis, my original point. The left and the radical left in particular are so immoral and so hateful and so blind to their own lack of belief in right or wrong that they're turning on themselves. They do this all the time. And you know what I see here? I see what I, I see a Marxist move that's not intentional. Marxists are so hateful and so intent on causing division that they end up causing division among their own kind without even knowing that they call them division among their own kind. Biden is a Marxist, even if you don't know it. He probably doesn't even know he's alive. He probably just thinks you probably don't. Who am I? Where am I at? Probably doesn't even know that half the time. But he's a Marxist and doesn't even know it. And he's dividing <laughs> the gay groups against each other. So you're going to have a war that's eventually going to happen between these two groups because now you're going to elevate the transgenders over the, over the other regular gay people. OK, and they're going to get the regular gays are going to get mad and angry at the transgenders who are being promoted as the gods in our country. OK, and they're going to say, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. You taking our place, man. Wait a minute. Wait, what you doing, bro? No, and, and, boom, <laughs> because that's what liberal liberalism does. That's what the radical left does. That's what Marxism does. It turns on itself because evil hates itself. Evil and, and corruption and immorality is so evil and so corrupt and so immoral, it turns on itself. It happens time and time and time again with these people. Because when you don't have an understanding of right or wrong, you don't have a basic concept of right or wrong, and you take what is wrong and make it right, and what is right and make it wrong, when you call what is evil good and what is good evil, you already twist it. So you're going to end up twisting in and of yourself. You're going to end up turning on your own. You're going to end up turning on your own. And this is exactly what's going to end up happening. But Biden, he doesn't see that. He's a love sister. And we're here to solidarity. He's just quoting what somebody's telling him and trying to remember it off the top of his head. I don't know if he's trying to remember. It. It looks like he's trying to remember it off the top of his head. Maybe he's reading a teleprompter. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> this is what's going on here. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before, but I wanted to make that statement here because here we got we got a group of 
of gays and lesbians getting upset now because they feel that Biden is promoting the transgender flag, the progressive flag over their flag. Hate begets hate or rather twistedness begets twistedness. Corruption begets corruption. Division begets division. You have something that's divided. It's going to divide into something else, into something else, into something else, until eventually everything is destroyed on itself. It crumbles on itself. And that's what you're going to have here. And that's what you're getting here. Okay. So that's what I wanted to say right there. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. But uh, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. I always, I just look back, fold my arms and look back and, 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 and all at how twisted this whole thing is. For this president, for a president to get up and say these type of things in the midst of high inflation prices, high gas prices, violence in all the cities from these liberal corrupt politicians, mayors and governors and so forth with, with him having an I don't care attitude, but you want it. But what's most important to this president here is promoting the progressive flag and promoting gay pride. That's the most important thing. We have to do that. Forget about the economy. Forget about bringing unity and solidarity. Forget about all the things that the common people want, because according to the article, it states that more and more people in this country are turning against the transgender agenda. Why? It's because they're pushing it and forcing it on our children. And it has gotten out of hand. Yet, yet you have presidents and you have governors and you have mayors and you have all these other people constantly trying to make it look like it's acceptable. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Okay. Okay. That's a lie from the pits. That is just not true. But yet he keeps pushing it because that's the most important thing, right? That's the most important thing in our country. You got to push it. You got to push it because that's more important than anything else. Forget about starving people in your country. Forget about the homelessness, homeless people. Forget about all of that. That's not important. That's not important. The transgender agenda is. The progressive flag is most important. We got to do that. If we don't do that, we're not making progress. Now, you explain to me the, 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 the sense that that makes. None whatsoever. But that's what happens when you say more morality. We don't need you. God, we don't need you. We, we're our own gods. We worship ourselves. Okay, keep on believing that lie. See where that ends up. But that's what I want to say about that. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all, and see you again.